Hello, it's your favorite sports dunk here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the fastest growing community on YouTube. Remember, nightcap doesn't happen without you. So please subscribe or you're going to make Ocho cry. Man, there was, I, I, I forget, I forget the state it was, but uh, uh, a woman had won the lottery. Right. She didn't tell her husband and she divorced him because she didn't want to give him half. You could do that? The, no. The husband found out they went, the judge made her give it all to him. What? That's what, hey, man, look, you and I done been through a situation with that child support and they asked for discovery. Here you go. This is, this, hey, this is what I make. This is right. how much I got saved. This is what I got stocks and bonds. This is mm. what I have such as for, uh, no, sir. You're never, hey, you're never, hey, your honor, this is what we discovered, Mr. Sharp, uh, held back $3 million. Oh no. Oh no. Man, they light your butt up. Hey, listen, I that's 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 one of the reasons I'm I'm thankful. I'm thankful for those that I have kids from. I ain't really have to deal with that. What I did is I, I was able to do child support on my own my own terms because obviously I was one that took care of my kids, but I had none none of them, there was no ill intent. And I think one of the one of the things that I've always did. And I think they made life so easy, not easy, but they made life so much more smoother. And I think it's very important, very imperative that that you you have kids from those or you you choose them wisely because they they can make your life a living hell. Yeah, they but Ojo, you, you know what they, the thing they is, can, they, can, they can make your life a living hell, and just throughout the entirety of 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 my adolescent, even here, even now as an adult, man, those I have kids from have been a huge blessing, a huge blessing, you know, through my ups, through my downs. Now back at my ups, everybody's been very supportive. And I probably wouldn't able to, I probably wouldn't have been, wouldn't have been, wouldn't have been able to get back to where I am now without, without, without their help. So it's, it's oh, just, just hearing that story and what you said about the discover and like all that stuff, mm -hmm. you know, fellas have to go through. No, oh, that's that sucks. Yes, yeah. I, I, I think Ocho, but for me, you say that, um, but you never know when people get angry. Yeah. Man, it's been a situation. Mm -hmm. Man, he's like, man, you know, me and my wife, me and my old lady gonna split. Right. Man, but she cool. I said, bro, mm -hmm. I called a light fire. Right. He said, man, why you calling that? I said, because you going to light fire to your ass. <laughs> yeah. People get angry mm -hmm. because they feel like, well, he's not going to be with me. That means he's going to be with somebody else. And that mm -hmm. means that somebody else might be getting more than I'm going to get. Mm -hmm. And so now all of a sudden. See, but again, look at the, look at the type of person you're having a child with. Ocho, you so what, never. What is, Ocho, what is, what let me ask you a question. About? When people what get it, married, what, it, what does that tell you is about? When people get married, if, if so someone, you think people get married, so you don't think, huh? Listen to what you just said. Yes, the woman is worried about, oh, this person gonna get more than what I'm getting. That's Ocho, all you that, already Ocho, dealing, a, you, or, you already dealing with the wrong kind of, from the beginning, from the jump. If that's, so, let me ask you a question. So, there's a reason why you get a prenup. Why would you get a prenup if you married this woman? Because you believe that woman's gonna be with you for the rest of your life, right? So if it doesn't, I buy insurance not mm. to go run my car into somebody to T-bone somebody mm. just in case. Mm. But yo, you don't know when people get upset. When you get upset, ain't you would like to think mm -hmm. what you would or wouldn't do, but you don't right. know until you're in that situation. Yeah, right, 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 right. Well, I'm I'm only speaking. I'm only speaking from what I just said based on experience. You got to remember yes. all my all my kids grown. So we've we've had the arguments, we had the we've had the the, the, the issues, the disagreements, the mm -hmm. getting mad and and me not being with you and I'm, I'm with somebody else, and then me not being with that one and I'm with somebody else. But there was never but, but you never said they didn't get mad about that. Huh? You said they didn't get mad about that. No, you no, just no, said no, 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 no. No, I'm, I'm I'm speaking. So when you left one to be with the other, nobody got mad. Everybody was like, okay, okay, Chad, go ahead. I'm happy for you. Well, obviously, you know, there are disagreements and not, but not to the point where well, hell. I gotta go. I, I gotta make sure I'm getting more. No, it, it wasn't. It wasn't that. No, I mean your your example was. I gotta make sure she ain't getting more than me. No, 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 no. We we, yeah. we ain't had to deal with that. We we ain't had to deal with that bullshit. No.
But yes, my thing was I was going to keep the kids equal anyway because right. I didn't love any kid more than I loved more the other. Another, yeah, all right. of them, my kids, regardless of the circumstance in which they were mm -hmm. conceived, right. they're mine. Right, right. And I'm going to do, you know, one get a birthday party. All three, all of them, gonna get, all the others going to get a birthday mm -hmm. party. Spend the same. Right. It might be a different theme, the same. Mm. Everybody go to, one go to private school, everybody go mm. to private school. Now, if you choose not to send them to the private school, that's on you. Right. But no, I I, I didn't. I, I mean, I I know I would have felt some type of way. I mean, think about it. Twenty One Savage was tell, told a story of how he felt his dad mm -hmm. treated one of his brothers better than he treated him. That mm -hmm. he would take his brother to buy stuff. He right. later grew up to resent the dad and the brother. Mm. And that's what happens. If and that that's natural. That is natural. You do for a child more for a child more for one child, and that child see it. That child mm -hmm. will regret will resent the child that's getting everything, and it's not right. the child's fault. That's just human nature. I I I I, I do for all the best I can. I I do for all. Matter of fact, to the point where it's almost spoiling. Oh yeah, like, for sure. Over overdue spoiling. I don't I don't. I'm trying to think of the last time. And I'm glad I'm glad we on this topic. And I know we have a lot of parents in the chat. Everybody's situation is different. I'm trying sure. to think of the, la the last time I even said no. It would have to be something outrageous for me to actually say no. Yeah. Like I told you, come Christmas time, I don't know if you remember uh the Christmas list my kids had. It yeah. was crazy. Crazy. They got every last motherfucking thing on them because they don't ask me for anything. Throughout the remainder throughout the year, that is that like that's the outlandish or like crazy purchases where it's like yeah. um extremely expensive. So come yeah. Christmas time, but I don't care what you gonna put a goddamn giraffe on your goddamn Christmas list. I'm gonna find a way to get your ass a giraffe. Yeah, but you better make sure you can feed him. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I ain't hey, gonna feed hey. that. I ain't gonna feed that greedy mofo. Yeah. But throughout the year, yeah, you guys sure. live a normal life. You live a normal, and you don't ask for nothing out, out out the blue. That you know, like, come on now, why 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 even ask me that for me to even question it? And you know, I'm gonna say no. Yeah, I, I think that's how it is, Ocho. For the most part, I know if they come to me and ask me for something, um, I'm like, okay, because they already know I'm yeah. I'm 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 last option, not first yeah. choice. Right. So I I pretty I said so now I'm gonna find out. Okay, so so what what happened? Mm -hmm. Well, dad, blah, 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 blah. I said, okay, so what did we learn from this? So this is not going to be a reoccurring theme, right? Right. No, dad, okay. Let's let's make sure. Are we we clear? I mean, okay, are we crystal clear? Mm -hmm. Yeah, dad, no. Are we abundantly clear? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ocho? I'm going through all the clear. I'm going through all the scenarios. Right, I right. want to be crystal, and I want to be mm -hmm. abundantly clear. Mm -hmm. But this is not going to happen again now. Right. And for the, I, I can honestly say, they haven't put themselves in the same situation twice. Right. Uh, but like I said, I, hey, I sent you to school. Um, your mom did a great job of teaching you right from wrong. When you came, you, I know damn well I taught you right from wrong because I ain't play. Right. And so you know right from wrong. That's that's all. That's all you can do, Ocho. You mm -hmm. try to instill whatever you can in your ch children, and then when they get out on their own, hopefully you've done enough, and it triggers like okay. This is this is this is wrong, and so I always go back to to like my my grandfather when he told me and my brother he said I don't care what you become in life, you just never have to look at me and your grandma and say I'm sorry. Mm. That's it. So every time I think about doing something that might cause harm, or might, you know, if Granny was like I couldn't look I couldn't look at my granny and say I'm sorry. Right. So and you know they work my my kids work my son works hard he has a wife and a kid I told him that's what comes along with the territory. Uh, a lot of times, like I call, he already to bed asleep. But that's the responsibility of having a man. I mean, be, of being a man right. and having a family. My daughter's, my, she's in med school. I mean, you know, hey, I call a lot of times. I call, hey, daddy, I'm sorry. I'm studying. I'm doing this. You know, I was in rotation. I'm on call for the next, you know, 48 hours, blah, blah, blah. Okay. My oldest, it is what it is. Right. But you got responsibility. I don't, I don't like lazy. I don't like, I, I, I despise, I detest lazy. 
Do you? And do I you told know? my kids the exact same thing what my grandfather told my brother and I. Mm -hmm. He says, I don't care what you do. You just can't do it here. Right. You ain't got to do nothing. Oh, so he said, you ain't got to do nothing, but you can't do it here. But and I have a question. If if your kids, if you were to say that and you and you tell your kids that you don't have to do nothing, you despise being lazy, but do you, what if they come Oh, they're lazy. They can't get, they can't get SHIT out of Shannon. They huh? know, and they know that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They can't get SHIT out of Shannon. Not if you lazy. Oh, no. I despise, I detest it. You serious? As hard as I work. Right. Ocho, I told you. I only got room for one lazy shark. I'm it. Kayla, right. Kaylee, and Kiari ain't no way in hell you can be lazy. You got to be doing something. Don't play that, Ocho, man. Boy, you, boy, you, boy, you a tough dad, boy. Shit. Mm -mm. I work my ass off. Right. Private school, college, they ain't have to pay a dime. And I gave them tuition and I bought them cars. Right. There ain't no excuse. No excuse. Right. For you to be lazy. Zero, zilt, none. And they know it. They know what I expect from them. Mm. I demand it. I like that. I like that. That's dope. So, hey. You can change jobs. I don't care. Hey, you're not happy? Find another one. Right. But you don't quit that one until you find another one. Right. Because I, I ain't going to take care of you. You grown. When you when you say grown, what at what age is grown? Like when do you when do you stop being when they told me they can go and come if they please? Ain't nobody ever told you that, man. Yeah. No, I mean no, no, they don't. I mean, <clears throat> um, once is my it... kids went to college, my daughter stayed with me her freshman year. Uh, and then, you know, she, I just told her, I say, you know, look, you you coming in, this this ain't gonna work. I know you <laughs> grown. Hey, coming in late. I know you grown. Right. You grown. I know you grown. You can't come in here like that. I couldn't come in my grandma's house like that. You can't come in mine. Damn. Oh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You ain't coming to my house like that, Ocho. Right. Was but late, you respect, it, it, she, it, it but, was she, late. but look, for the most part, yeah. My kids really never like that, like that hang out, hang out type. Not that I know of. Right. Now, what they did in college, they in college. They supposed to let their hair down. Right, right, right. You got you got to enjoy yourself. Yeah. And <clears throat> I made sure my kids, like my uh my older two went to the same college. But I made sure they had their own place. Mm -hmm. They're like, well, nah, dad, I can let said, No, you can't. I say, you a male, you a female. You don't need to see who he bringing in, and he don't need to see who you bringing in. Because right. that's your brother. He ain't going to be going for that. You, you, you a college kid. You a college female. Right. You're going to have guys. Keep your business private. Right. But I'm also telling them, hey, watch out for your sister now. Mm-hmm. He very protective of his sisters. Right. That's not right. that. Whistling and stuff. Hey, bro, that's my sister. Man. Don't disrespect my sister like that. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, damn. <laughs> I'm like, okay. That's how you feel about your sister. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he feels some type of way, some type of way about his sisters. I like but that. no, Ocho, I I just think like like I said, I just, you know, I expect my, my kids to to be, you know, mm -hmm. be respectful. And I, that's all I ask is they just hey, talk to your mom like you would talk to me. Right. If you wouldn't say that, then you do wouldn't and you know you're not gonna talk to me any kind of way. Don't talk to your mom like that. Right. Yeah. So their mom never had to say, had to really call me once they got of eight, once they got sides, you know, they grown. Like I said, they got 18, they got 21, mm -hmm. even 25 to this day. Yeah. No issues. They are, they, they already know. Yeah. Their mom called me and said, well, such a, oh no, they got hell to pay. Right. I'm on a plane. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm going to be, hey, I'm, I'm going to be wherever, wherever right. they are, I'm coming mm -hmm. quick. Now I don't rent a private jet often, but if their mom say something happened, they talk this or that, I'm on a private jet. I'm coming. Right. I'll be there in five hours. Yeah, see, it, 
my my the, my my older my older kids, they mama, Nathaniel. I don't play that. <laughs> Nathaniel, listen, you know, you know, you know how we grew up now. For sure. You know how we grew up. Yeah. So you already you already know what they mama's hitting on now. <laughs> we ain't playing. We straight out the city. Yeah. Ain't none of that. Talk back to who? In who house? Before even though you, even e, listen, even though you grown now, talk back to who? Mm -hmm. Shit, nah. And I think they've done such a good job. Yeah, I don't think they would. Job. I don't. I don't think they would. I think they. I think the girls are at a point now. Mm -hmm. They got their own place. Yeah. If they so feel some no, type of yeah, there's no. They just like you know what? I'm just gonna go into my place. Right, let right, this right, thing right. die down for a week or two. Right. I don't think. I don't think it's like you know, cause you know, they kind of like. They got a lot of similarities in them, and right. I can see, you know, they butt they butt heads a little uh -huh. bit, cause they got a lot like, you know, my mom. I was like, well, you just like her, right? That's why y'all ramming it. That's mm -hmm. why y'all butting heads, right? They can't, they can't, they can't be in the same household now oh, that no, the no. kids are older for too long. No, no, too grown, too we, uh, no, 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 not grown people. No, no, grown grown people ain't supposed to be like that. And right. I get it, like a large percent of the uh, uh, of the uh, of the. Kids live with their parents. I think I forgot the stat, but it's like a, a huge number, like mm -hmm. 50, 60 percent of the kids 28 and older live at home with their parents. And I get it. Um, but but if you live with your parents, you got to be respectful. You got to like you yeah. up under their rules. You like, yeah. oh, I'm grown. Well, grown people get their own place. Yeah, yeah. I mean, grown, it's, it's, <coughs> and, you people. know, time times are tough now, huh? You yeah. know, especially in this economy. So, so I think the percentage is so high because it's so difficult for people to actually get on their feet and maintain a healthy lifestyle because of the goddamn economy. Well, guess what? Ain't nothing. The economy don't call you to be disrespectful. You living in somebody right. else, yeah. somebody else's house, keep your damn right. mouth closed and do what right. they ask you to do. They say, yeah. clean up your room, clean up your room. They right. ask you to take out the trash, take out the trash. They right. ask you to pick up, pick up. I mean, I, they, they, they ain't nothing in the economy. Yeah, I I know what you I know what you mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> but it, it, it's just difficult when you have a, when you're of a certain age, yeah. And you know things aren't going right in your life, and you need mom or you need dad, and you and you want to be under their roof until you can get yourself get mm -mm. yourself right. They can't be up under my roof. I, I'm gonna pay for them to get their own roof. They yeah. can't be up under my roof. Nah, yeah. And you, you know, know, you know, you know they can't hey, be up on old shape. Yeah, you know what's funny? Sometimes parents will actually antagonize their child just because they're older and they still stand with them. They antagonize yeah. them on purpose. Try to get them out. Try to get them yeah. out. Don't you? Yes. They antagonize them on purpose and make things even worse and cause confusion, which is why they always, they always mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. But they, they, they could look, I, I think the thing is, and I, I just tell them, I tell them, say, look, your mom just want what's best for you. Right. That's it. I say at the end of the day, I understand that you think she nagging and she getting on your nerves mm -hmm. and I know you grown. But at right. the end of the day, you still your mother's daughter. Right. You the oldest. Right. And they gonna they're gonna be like this even when you forty. Mm. It's gonna be the same way. So, hey, bite your lip, just like hey, say, okay, mom, I understand, but just hey, mom, I understand, but keep it moving. You all right? <laughs> <laughs> you, you 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 okay? Go. Right. Guess what? You got your own place. You got mm -hmm. your own car. Everything. Get back in your a. Just like man, and just I mean when 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 you cool when you cool down, just have a conversation with your mom. Say, mom, I mm -hmm. don't like what you said to say. Blah blah blah. Right. It's not that difficult. I mean, you you still should be. That's your mom. I get it. You still got to talk to her a certain way with a certain level of respect because mm -hmm. the dynamic in your relationship won't ever change. She's always gonna be your mom. You're always gonna be a child. I'm big on respect, though, Joe. Yeah. I'm big. Yeah. I'm huge on that. Mm -hmm. Huge. Damn. 